So, this is where the path. Fuck. Hi guys, and welcome to this week's video. I'm in this quite spectacular place. So this behind me is a place called Moss Force Waterfall and it is stunning, especially during the wet season, which surprisingly it is now. There's a slight problem with it though. It's easily accessible. There's a path to my left and a path to my right. It's too easily accessible. I know I've been here before. I've created a video from here before and I've shot from here many times. So I was wondering what it would be like from the very, very top where it isn't accessible at all. So armed with my walking poles and crampons, I'm about to go and find out. So this is where the path ends just here and around about this area here is probably my favorite location probably a very common one i.e looking straight down the valley and photographing the waterfall on my right hand side ordinarily i would go down the bank in a bit more just to get a little bit closer to the waterfall but from the middle waterfall and the lower waterfall I would place the waterfall on the bottom right hand side, add in a waterfall interest, a bit of interest in the image, looking straight down the valley at an incredible sunrise. But I'm not the only one that's got that shot. Every man and his dog has. Now just in front of me here is where the path ends. And I want to see what it's like from further up there which is going to be quite a scramble i've got to tell you i'm a little bit nervous about doing it and i'm only going to go where it's safe to do so and going up is never never normally a problem coming down is always the problem and also it's a shame but it won't look anything anything like dangerous from your perspective it never does from a camera's eye so as I start to wander up, I won't film the hike up, obviously. It'll be lots of huffing and puffing. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a couple of pictures that I've taken from this same location in the past. But do me a favor, if I'm still alive, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Change my mind while the sky looks like that and just to keep this video in perspective i thought i'd grab a shot from here anyway under these conditions looks incredible from here it really does so that's the top waterfall up there that you could see from the roadside and I didn't know but it's got a boulder right in the middle and the water is splashing around the boulder and that looks really good from here I can see an incredible looking waterfall a waterfall that you can't even see from lower down and certainly not from the road so that looks nice how I'm going to intertwine them both I don't really know I shall give it a go anyway. I've got my wide angle lens, so that should sort me out. 
Also while I'm here, what I like to do at waterfalls is zoom in close and take abstract pictures as well. But I've not finished yet. I want to go higher. I want to go much higher. I want to get closer to that top waterfall and go further to the right hand side and as precarious as it looks from here in a safe manner hopefully I want to be able to grab a picture from up there I've got a few decent compositions I imagine some people will climb up here because it's not overly difficult I probably just make it look difficult but I very much doubt too many people have ventured up further than this point here right. before I risk life and limb let's Get the camera out. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right, well. Turning round is a challenge in itself. <laughs> so impressive from up here, it really is. But look, before I show you the waterfall, look at the light kicking off down the valley. I tell you what, this waterfall has just taken on a whole new perspective. From here, the waterfall behind me is just incredible all the way to the top. It is gorgeous. I've just taken off my wide angle lens and I'm gonna to have to put it back on again. Wow. And areas or waterfalls like this are so good for abstract photography. You wait and see the pictures that I'll grab from here, completely different. But as much as I'll talk you through in a second what I can see and what I'm hoping to grab, I haven't finished yet. I've got, oh, I've got all the way up there to go. But while I'm here, oh, let me just, I just need to take this in a second. This is something special. Now I don't want to make this video a long one so I'm not going to take hundreds and hundreds of pictures but from here let me just talk you through my thought process of where and how I can grab pictures. Well to begin with if I spin you guys around if I wander down to there which isn't too difficult at all that's the bottom of the waterfall I can use that waterfall there, instead of shooting up against it, use it as foreground interest or a leading line drawing the viewer's eye down to the valley. So that is one. From here, I could get in tight and grab some abstract pictures from here. I love that rock from up there. So what I'll do is go back a bit further if I can and I'll grab some tighter shots of the water cascading around that rock there. And of course, if I can, I'm going to go further back and grab the whole of the waterfall. There's so much to go at here, but I want to grab two or three pictures and then continue on with my journey. I'm just going to throw you guys in camera for one picture. Just the one picture. So what I'm looking at here is just a nice 16 by 9 frame utilizing the waterfalls here and this one on the edge and the main point of focus will be that rock there so I'm going to give that rock a little bit of room to breathe and I like that that's quite nice I'm going to shoot that at probably a one or a two second exposure just to create a bit of movement in that water before I do that, I've applied my polarizer, but there's a bit of sheen on the water there. And what I want to try and do is darken that water right down so that there's a, a bigger contrast between the white flowing water and this dark area here. So let's just play around with my polarizer and see what happens. Yeah, you can see that straight away. Oh, look at that. So that there, there's a bit of sheen on the water, that there. Yeah, that's made it nice and dark. And you can even see on the rocks over here. If you look here on the rocks, when I play around with that polarizer, it takes the sheen off that rock altogether. Look at that. 
and just before I get my wide angle lens on, what I'm going to do, I love doing this, I'm going to zoom in and out. This 24 to 120 lens is just incredible. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to have a wander around the frame and I'm going to see, that's me, sorry. I'm going to wander around the frame and see if I can create any compositions within this frame. Then continuing to look through the frame. Yeah, definitely something there. That is so nice. Look at those three rocks there. That's so nice. I grabbed a couple of shots from here, both landscape and portrait orientation. What I especially like here is where the water disappears behind the rock. So there's a, always a question mark as to where that water is going. But while we're here as well, what I said I wanted to do, I want to zoom in quite tight to that rock there and show the water cascading all around it. Because I think that it's so cool. Just going to give it a little bit of breathing space. And that there is the shot that I'm going for. I love that. But please don't go anywhere because I've still got to venture further up. But look at that. That is just incredible. Hi guys, just a quick reminder, if any of you guys are going to the photography show at the NEC this weekend, be sure to come and say hello to me. Not only will I be milling around the Nissi stage area, but I'm also doing three talks throughout Saturday and Sunday. So if you are in the vicinity, please, please, please tap me on the shoulder and come and say hello. If you can't make the show on the weekend, maybe you're going down Monday, Tuesday, don't worry, there are some fantastic photographers that are doing talks on the Monday and the Tuesday as well. But either way, be sure to check out the Nissi stage. I'll also be visiting the Nikon stage as well. Hopefully, I'll see some of you legends there. It's a struggle to pull myself away. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. That's where I'm hoping to get to next. Right, I know my limits. I was thinking about going further out there, but to be honest, it's too risky. Might look okay on the camera, but that drop down there is pretty severe. So I'm, I was hoping to get right to the edge. That's a real shame that I can't, but I'm not gonna let being a content creator kill me. And I know my limits. So overall then, before I get my camera out and take a picture, definitely if I went to the end there, it would be nicer, but from here is nice enough. Now, obviously the light in the background is horrendous because this is about scouting locations out. If this was awesome, then I would come up here for sunrise because it's a sunrise location. So really that's what this video is all about. But I'll grab a shot anyway, and it's certainly a perspective that I'm guessing not many people will capture, judging by the fact there's no footprints up here whatsoever. And you've got to be pretty stupid like me to come up here. So maybe I'll have a unique shot, but sometimes it's just the thrill of the hunt. It's, it's, there's no point wondering what would it be like 
when you could just put your boots on and go and find out. My rule, rule number one, don't be a lazy photographer. I haven't said that though. Also, don't be a stupid one. <laughs> I could probably fall into the latter category there. Tell you what, just doing a bit of B-roll on the iPhone and you've got to have a good head for heights. To stand here, you've got to have a good head for heights because you're having a very bad day pretty quickly. I've got to tell you, if you just slip, I'm okay stood here, but right, let's grab a shot. So that's it, that's the end of the video. Now it's gonna be difficult to comment on the last image because of the light sometimes, even though I said try and see through it, sometimes it's difficult to see through poor light. Having said that, I don't think the composition was particularly brilliant. I did want to get closer to the, the waterfall, but uh, it was just too dangerous. So mm, nothing's worth that, is it? But I loved the shots I took at the lower end of the top waterfall. I really liked them. I thought they were pretty cool. And of course, if there's any compositions that you guys liked in this video, then let me know down below. Right, so that is it. That's all we've got time for. Thank you so much indeed, as always, for watching my video. But do me a favor, all content creators say it, I know, but it's really important for the algorithm. Give that like button a bit of a nudge. And if you're new here and you want to find your way back, then consider subscribing as well. Fingers crossed I'll see some of you legends at the NEC show this weekend. <laughs>